Freezing in Westwood, we don't give a fuck Never a night dress for the two of us Wish for my time and for good or bad luck My car got locked in the parking garage We took an Uber straight to your home We lay together but never too close So I am moving out for college in One, two, three, four, six days! And my brother will be moving into this room that I've lived in for like the past six years maybe, and it's never gonna exist again. So I thought, while it still exists, I'm gonna do a room tour. Okay, say okay. Okay, So when you first walk in, I have this floor length mirror, it's from Target. On the back of my door, I also have a bunch of bags. My favorite bag is this Kudomi bag, it's like a silicone one that my best friend got me from Korea. And then right to the right of that, we have the big poster wall. Here are all my posters, some of them I bought, some of them are printed off. First we have the Hello Kitty poster. Then I have some of these that I just printed off of Pinterest. On this wall we have some Sanrio posters, some Mitsuki, some anime posters, and some music posters. In that back, the purple one, I actually got that in Japan. And to the right of my poster wall I have my manga and bookshelf. At the very top I have my Funko Pop collection, all bought by my boyfriend, and these are my favorites. I have some more right behind them, but these are the ones I like to keep on display. The next row down we have um, some of my favorite Japanese novels. The next shelf, this display shelf, might be one of my favorite in my room. Starting on the left I have some magazines, um, those are from Japan, and I also have some of my notebooks, and then this is my galaxy projector. In this little box I have earrings that my mom bought me from Japan, this teddy bear, my My Melody shot glass, my <clears throat> the Hello Kitty camera, snow globe, and then this pink Beauty of Jaseon um, container because I thought it was just adorable. And then I have my piggy bank, but it's a little kitty bank actually that's overflowing. There's so many coins. And then down below in this middle section, oh this, the whole white shelf is from Amazon by the way. I have my Nezuko cute basket. And then underneath, I have my New Jeans albums that come with the bags. And then to the left, I have bookmarks. Underneath my bookmarks, I have this glasses case that my dad got me from Austria. Over here, I have my Polaroid display. It's a flip through, so I have a bunch of Polaroids. And I like to flip to whichever one's my favorite. Right now, it's my boyfriend and then my friends. Underneath, I have this Hello Kitty lottery box and then a Japanese book. And down here are my favorite books. If I had to recommend a few, I'd say The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, The Light We Lost, and Crying in H Mart. Next shelf is where my manga collection actually starts. So first I have this Hello Kitty Dominion bottle, and then I have the entire collection of Demon Slayer in Japanese, or Kimetsu no Yaiba. And then to the right of that, I have the first three books of Attack on Titan, and then we have my Grogu Funko, and then a mini Kuposket, of Tanjiro except it came with two heads and I wasn't sure what to do with it so I just put it right there. Below we have the beginning of my shoe collection so I have my pink Jordans which are absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of hard to see in the lighting but they're baby pink black and white. Um, I have a box of Converse and in there I just keep my tech stuff and then my combat boots down there. And then on the final level on the left side I have all my Jabaki Shonen Hanako-kun manga. I have the whole set on the right side, we have a majority of the Jujutsu Kaisen set. And of course, I speak Japanese, so all my manga are in Japanese. To the right of my shelf, I have my closet, and I won't go super deep in depth because it's kind of a mess. Since I'm moving to college soon, my closet is in the process of getting cleaned up, and it's a mess. But I keep most of my clothes in the drawers, hang up my tops, and then I have a little shoe rack, and then my karate bag at the bottom. My favorite part of the closet is probably this little display above my dresser. I have a painting painted by a friend, and then I keep 
all my necklaces and my earrings on this stand that I got off of Amazon and I love how open it is and how it displays. When you go past my closet, you come to this dresser setup I have here. So behind this mirror is the big electrical box, so we use this mirror to cover that up. And then to the left, this is from 2020 actually, but I have all the Spotify codes of random songs that I really like during 2020. I think the top of this dresser is one of my favorite parts of my room. On the left side of my shelf, I keep my crystals. And then back here is where my beauty stand, so I have a pink mirror that is from Daisel. And then my perfume. And then I keep little goodies like my GlossierBalm.coms, whoops, and hand cream and stuff like that in there. I actually thrifted this heart container and it's one of the best. I keep all my claw clips in there because I have a ton. Um, to the right, I have this little mug that I got from Las Vegas. It's pink and I keep my hair rollers in there. And then this little macaron container. On top of this acrylic shelf, I keep the necklaces that I wear the most. Underneath, I have this red box that stores my other jewelry, like my rings and my bracelets. And then the two acrylic drawers at the bottom hold hair stuff. Here, I have my Glossier, Glossier hand lotion, which this cap is adorable. I got it from a mini sew, um, and I keep my everyday jewelry in there. And then over here, I have this Zodiac candle that I got for my birthday. And it actually, so I'm a Libra, and it actually has like Libra jewelry inside once you burn it down. I have my Glossier beauty bag, I keep little hair clips in that container, um, more hair clips in the Heart Godiva container, and then the box underneath has all the letters and little mementos I really like. My bed is one of my favorite areas, so to the left I have my bi flag, and then I have this huge squishmallow, her name's Myrie, um, and I couldn't fit her over there, so she's sitting over here. But I do live in the basement, so that's why there's a window well here. Above my bed, I have this gorgeous canopy that I did myself with just vines and tool that I got off of Amazon. But up here, I like to keep my more earthy goodies, so I have my plant, Frank. Um, and then in the little basket, I have more crystals, some incense, um, diffuser, stuff like that. And then my watering jug for my plant, and then some more candles and little knickknacks. At the top... I have this sun catcher, which when it's super sunny will scatter little rainbows across the room. I have this cloud shelf above my bed, I keep one of the reversible stuffed animals up there. And I also have my tarot deck and a disposable camera. I have another poster wall above my bed. This poster is signed by Nessa Barrett. I have this one from Alana Vinyl, Totoro, our favorite of course. And one of my favorites has to be this little cat calendar. And then I have all these squishies. If you can't tell, I love anything Sanrio, but I keep this flower pillow as well as some other squishies on the bed. Next to my bed, I have this nightstand. Please ignore the horrendous cables. The first tier holds all my necessities. On the second tier, I have extra squishmallows that I couldn't fit on my bed. On the bottom tier, I have one squishy stuff back there, some snacks, and then I have a lot of my more informational books. Besides my water bottle, I have a vase here for when I do have flowers, um, some lip balm because I cannot live without lip balm, my Kuromi um, eye mask that I sleep with if it's too bright in my room, and then here I have a few journals stacked. These are from Intelligent Change. Up here in this other window, I have one of my new jeans bags with Danielle's photo card. I have some Japanese magazines, some scrapbooks, and then this Your Name um, book that my mom got me for Christmas one year. And the place where I spend the most of my time is definitely my gaming setup. I have these acrylic shelves above my desk. I have this LED, um, I have an LED clock, some little goodies, some posters. Um, this wall grid is where I keep all my favorite lanyards, keychains, and pictures of my friends and I. Starting on the left side, I have this Fafine mic, and it has this pink little squishmallow attached to it. The space on the left side of my desk, I keep my MacBook, 
my bullet journal and my pencil case. Shout out to my favorite sticker on my MacBook. Then I have this little shelf from Target with my Echo. Over here I keep this adorable charging stand. So you put your phone on and it spreads the angel wings like that. It's gorgeous. And honestly it doesn't charge that well but it looks really cute so that's why I have it. I have two Acer monitors um, and then I use this monitor stand from Amazon to put them both up in this setup. Um, I have I have my Razer headset, my ring light, and face cam for the whole streaming setup. My PC is from CLX Gaming. It's not the best, but you know what? It works. Inside the PC, we have Meat City hanging out. One of the favorite parts of my gaming setup is definitely my mouse pad and my keyboard. My mouse pad definitely needs to be washed, but it's this adorable matcha boba, light green, which I got off of AliExpress. I custom built this keyboard last winter when I got it for Christmas. I believe it's from Banggood, and it was called the Sakura keycap set, as you can see from the Japanese-themed keycaps. And then charging over there is my Razer wireless pink mouse with my pink wrist rest. I keep my PC on this separate stand with the drawers, which I use for storage. The first drawer, I just keep my pens and stuff, so here I just keep some cards, but I have my Tombos, my mild liners, and some more brush pens in the back. My second drawer is more stationary, so I have my washi tape collection, um, my post-it notes, and then just some other stuff. My third drawer is probably my most disorganized. It's all my makeup. Um, it's kind of just thrown in here. And this is just my daily makeup bag, and the rest is just kind of there. And then lastly, I keep my trash cans in here, so trash and recycling. In the top of this corner, I have these paper lanterns, as well as some vines up above. And then I have this shelf in the corner. At the top, I have this Hello Kitty mailbox that my boyfriend got me. Um, the white box below I got from Daiso and it's filled with extra makeup. I have my other new jeans bag back here with the Danielle uh, keychain. And then I have my favorite lip products here. So in the shelf right below, I keep all my stationery and letters from my pen pal right there. Um, below, I have bedding and some extra squishmallows from Sumiko Gureshi. And then down here, I have some more blankets as well as my backpack. Over here, I have this nightstand that I actually handmade myself in woodworking. Um, the box on the left keeps all my vinyls, and then here, the acrylic boxes are my scrapbooking, and here I have my vinyl player. Above my clothing rack, I have the Sirokumu clock, as well as some more Sanrio posters, and then probably one of my favorite things in my room, my clothing rack. On the left, I keep my mini bags, and then all my clothes, and the clothes I picked up when I'm on my clothing rack are my current favorites, or the ones that I really like how they look. So a lot of these have really cool textures and patterns on them, which is why I put them on here. And then over on this side, I have a tote bag, and then a little quilted Hello Kitty bag underneath. And then I have a bunch of shoes. You'll notice they're all platform, because I'm 5'3", and I need any boost I can get. 